I'm gonna sit from here it is. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna take away the screen. Um, so we're gonna, guys, uh, we're gonna take away the screen now. And then the kids have put uh, the kids have put together a little bit of a concert to sort of celebrate their mother. And the first thing is gonna be Max. When the evening 
shadows and the stars appear and there's no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years to make you feel my love No, you haven't made your mind So next we have Leo. So um, this is a song that um, me and my singing instructor, um, Marsha, helped me um, make about Allison's mom. Um, so, uh, <laughs> And I don't have any accompaniment, but um, that's okay. <laughs> you wait, mother dear, in a crowded room for us to celebrate you. Your life, mother dear, is a fantasy which others do aspire to, aspire to. You are 49, go on 15, but it's time to rest. Kick up your feet, get something to eat. I hear that this wine's the best. You are 49, going on 50. Your life is so sublime. I think that you should teach me to do what you have done in your time. Amazingly wonderful you've been to me and all your children. Funny and smart and sweet are you Can't you tell from the love of your kids You need someone younger and cooler Love <laughs> what you do I am 11 going on 12 I'll try to learn from you Felix is uh, going to try something a little bit ambitious, which is Moonlight Sonata on the six string bass. Um, uh, so let's how, see how this goes.
And uh, Louis, um, Louis Bakker, Louis has actually written his own poem to his mother. All right, so originally I was gonna play a song, um, but I couldn't find something that like, that like perfectly portrayed like how I felt or like wanted to say the thing I wanted to say. And I just, and I think that everyone here knows that like how ambitious and like how like free uh, my mom is and like how loving that she is. And I think a major reason for that is because although she works in like this world where like there's so much structure and like so much like organized behavior and like people that she has to like deal with. She takes a time to like step back from all of that and just like kind of be free with herself. You know what I mean? And like do the stuff that she wants to do and like not, and not always try and live the life that other people expect her to live. So I think it's kind of just like being free. You know what I mean? So right, this, is, this is it. Ultimate freedom. There is a pleasure. Standing alone in the late sunlight, no longer lost. Nothing left to be concealed. Wandering blind, but curious to learn. A life ruled is a life destroyed. Absolute freedom. There is a purpose. Bound to nothing, but confined to all. Let me forever know freedom. Solitary, misunderstood. Amidst the crowd, she is nothing. In nature, in solitude, she sees all. Perfect freedom. There is delight. So uh, we have Max up next. And Max is going to play something from Pink Floyd. <laughs> Especially, I've been uh, looking around for jobs. I just got out of high school, and um, I never really went up to my parents very much uh, for help, for guidance. It was all kind of very much uh, an individualistic thing. I think it was for a lot of us too. Um, but recently, being able to rely on my mom, you know, ask me out for help has just been so helpful. Um, got a couple funny stories too. I'll tell afterwards. Especially with my past job, the Cheesecake Factory. Um, she pretty much really helped me get through, and uh, I've got a great job now. Uh, working for Apple, and um, it's my mom's been a really big uh, just kind of role model for me, especially this, this past year. Uh, I didn't get to talk to you that much in the past 18 years of my life, <laughs> as much as I would have liked to now that I really know you. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll just, I guess, play this. Uh, I wasn't really planning on doing so before, but I guess I'll play now, and I'll stop talking. <laughs>
Oh, it works now. Okay, so uh, just really quickly before I kind of retire for the night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stand up comedian. Um, especially, you know, uh, I, I was trying to work for Apple, so this is just kind of a funny story that really resonates with me, and I, uh, I'm telling a lot of people this recently just because it was so funny. Um, just, you know, how much of a powerful woman my mom has been, and I never really even realized that until now I'm going off and I'm working, and I'm, you know, I'm dealing with managers who are just on the phones with their boyfriends while we're in the busiest time of the year and everything, and we're just trying to coordinate everything, and it's chaos, and they won't listen to me, and they won't listen to anybody else, and I, I just see my mom here, and I've listened in on uh, board meetings, which is probably something I should not be doing, uh, but she's just so, you know, strong and uh, very, you know, powerful, whereas, you know, when she's not working with us, too, she's very carefree and positive, which has just made such an, an amazing difference in all of our lives, and I think pretty much all of us can attest to that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I was working in the Cheesecake Factory, which was not the ideal job, and um, the managers there were terrible. And um, so I was, trying, I was trying to leave to do this training for Apple, and um, I gave them my two weeks notice, which I didn't really have to do at the time, because I was part-time employee. Um, but they were just, they were not happy about it, and they needed me to stay, and they're like, no, you're gonna work, you're gonna work, you're gonna do this right now. And um, so I had Apple training, and I had to leave, or else I wouldn't get the job at Apple. And so I was just flailing, and um, it was pretty terrible, because I, I, I really wanted the Apple job, and it was you know, something that would completely change my life. I really wanted to go into tech. And um, they just wouldn't budge. They wouldn't let me go to the training. So I talked to my manager for about a week, and she still was the same. She like had me scheduled in, wouldn't let me go. Um, and so it came to the point where I had to talk to the Apple manager, and I got her to call the Cheesecake Factory. And so I was, I was still pretty sure that would work, but it didn't, because she was the manager. There was so crazy that she wouldn't even budge for that. And um, so I wasn't going to get the Apple job. And so I'm completely distraught. It's the, you know, it's the night before. I tell my mom about this, <laughs> you know. And um, so I'm about to go to work the next morning to the Cheesecake Factory. And my mom says, oh, you know, I'll call, I'll call them for you. I'll try and figure this out. And I'm like, ah, oh, there's no way she's going to do this. I've, you know, pulled all the strings. She calls me five minutes later. She's like, oh, Max, it's totally figured out. They're mailing in your paycheck. You're all good. You don't have to work there anymore, period. <laughs> Which just kind of goes to show how, how just... I'd never even known she was that amazing, so thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for you got my job at Apple, so thanks, Mom. Bye. Short and sweet, but this song is dedicated to my mom, who I love very much. I don't tell her enough. Um, girls have to stick together, um, and you've always been my voice of reason. So this is to you, because you are my nightingale. I'm going to start crying.
tonight. Tulu is going to be joined by family friends Meg and Thomas. So they're just going to have to set up for the two of them. Honey, you are the rock <laughs> upon which I stand. And I came here to talk. I hope you understand. Green eyes and the spotlight shines upon you. And how could anybody? deny you because I came here with a load <laughs> I feel so lighter now we've met and honey you should know I couldn't go on without you too. So now all the kids are coming up to do Blackbird together. As you can tell, you can see where the uh, artistic talent in the family comes from. So Blackbird, um, Le Merle in, is a French word. Um, it means Blackbird. So this has always sort of been our family song. It's Blackbird by um, the Beatles. And so uh, we're all gonna sing it for you. <laughs>
hope you really enjoyed the show.